Freshman year in college is like the first year of high school. You enter a scared fish at the bottom of the social ladder and have a month or two to desperately climb the rungs before the positions solidify. You then spend the next four years maintaining and jockeying for position. And this is going to take as much time as a part-time job, but without the money. This is great if you're near the top of the pyramid with access to tons of hot college girls. If you are an intelligent uh, quarterback and you're the star football player, you're going to have a great time. The, the, but the vast majority of guys, and chances are if you're reading this article or you're listening to this on SoundCloud or, or watching this on YouTube, this is not going to be you. Okay. Many people stress the, the social bond developed at college, but with day game and the internet, you're going to have more girls than you need. Okay, It is the easiest time in the history of the world to pick up women. You've got Tinder where you can just order girls to your house and they come. Okay, You've got a million dating sites. You've got day game where you can just, if you live in a big city, you can just walk up to a girl on the street and get her phone number. Um, for friendship, all you need is a couple cool guys to hang out with, and you can easily have all your social needs met. Okay, You don't need to spend 40 hours a week um, building and maintaining a social circle that is going to disintegrate after college. Okay, People talk about these long-term bonds. I don't have one friend from university. Okay, I have two childhood friends and one guy that I used to work with, and those are the only people I keep in touch with. I'm telling you, 10 years from now, you might have a couple guys that you were friends with in college, but the vast majority of those um, friendships are going to be gone, and the vast majority of your high school friendships are going to be gone, okay? But the, the, social, um, the social argument is not good because the majority of guys, first of all, you're going to start at the bottom, and second of all, the majority of guys are not going to make it to the top, and... Living life at the bottom is is horrendous. Living life at the middle is is you know mediocre. Um, but unless you can get into that top ten percent of the popular guys, and you got to do that quick within the first couple months, this is not going to be any different than your high school experience. It's not going to be all that fun. Um, you know, I happen to be popular in high school, but I can't put that on my fucking resume. You know. Um, and even even then, it took it took me and my crew like three years to get to that point. When we started off in grade nine, you're the bottom of the social ladder. All the girls are dating older guys. You know, grade nine, grade ten, the grade even like halfway through grade eleven were still rough years for me and my friends. And then, you know, as time went on, we became the more popular guys. But really, you only we really only enjoyed the last two years of of high school. Um, to, to the extent that I would have wanted to enjoy them. So the, the, the social thing is, is that argument is not there as far as I'm concerned. Um, number four, opportunity cost. By going to college, you sacrifice four years in the prime of your life for starting a business. And this is a massive time commitment, okay? From 18 to 22, if you can get past the inertia that most guys have at that age, and you can get yourself focused and you can focus on the pain of not having the things that you want. Those are going to be your, the most productive years in your life if you can harness that. Because um, 14, 15, 16, 17, you're stuck in school. Okay, you're stuck in high school. But 18 to 21, you're still a young man and you have a young man's energy. When I was 18, I could go, I could go to the bar and I could drink till 3 o'clock and I could wake up at, uh, at 8 o'clock and still function. At 33, I, I, I wouldn't have a prayer of doing that. At 33, I need to do all kinds of things to be able to maintain my energy. And I need to have the right diet and I need to have the right sleep and I need to have the right exercise and I need to take the right supplements. But as a young guy, you're gonna, you can be bursting with energy. So you're, those four years of your life, you know, you're like a pro athlete, 18 to 21. Um, that is your prime time. So having those years taken away from you Having those business building years taken away from you, that that is a massive um, opportunity cost. Okay, those four years could have gone into your own business, and by the time your friends are graduating with fifty thousand dollars in student loans, you've got fifty thousand, sixty thousand, seventy thousand dollars of income coming into your business every year. Okay, so that you know, 
and, and you can do it all without ha ever having to call another guy your boss. And I'm, I'm telling you, the corporate world is not fun, guys. I spent almost a decade there. It is not fucking fun. I, I don't wish... I don't wish being a corporate salesman on anyone except for a few people that I fucking hate and I'm glad are still doing it and they're worthless scumbags. I do not wish you guys to have to deal with that for a decade or God forbid your life being a corporate salesman for for a lifetime um, is 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 a is hell, okay? That's that's the only way I can describe it. If you are an alpha male, calling another man your boss is hell, all right? Having to sit through neutered, boring, married people's jokes, gray, grim walls, the same fucking shit every day, breathing in recycled, non-fresh air, working under fluorescent lights, having your opinion count for nothing, doing the same mind-numbing fucking task every day, Shoot me in the head before I do that again. I wish I could convey to you how bad it is. Um, I don't want you to have to go through almost a decade of what I did to be able to understand that. I want you to have to not go through that. All right. I want you to know that now and, and be able to spare you some of the pain that I've been through.